What's up everybody, it's Sean here, here today to give you as a review of the Beams collaboration with Paperboy Paris and New Balance on this 920 in the Ice Boy colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Heflux. Heflux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles, and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find in Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everyone. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and to me, I personally find them to be very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this in my hand is the triple or three-way collaboration between New Balance, Beams, which is a Japanese retailer, and Paperboy Paris on this 920 silhouette. Releasing earlier this year on Paperboy's website, there was a larger worldwide drop a few weeks back, and they released alongside a New Balance 1500 as well, which I reviewed on my channel not too long ago. So the 920 retailed for a price of 260 US dollars or a very hefty 340 Canadian dollars. The style code for the shoe is M920 PPB and the official colorway is cool gray, silver and white. So the New Balance 920 is a relatively new silhouette manufactured out of New Balance's Flimby factory in England. And this pair, just like the 1500, is done in this mismatching fashion. So you'll see throughout the review, it incorporates different shades of grey, creating a mismatching but still sort of uniform look. First things first, here's a quick look at the box. And just like the 1500, this comes in a white-based cardboard box. We have this New Balance branding on the top, which is altered to give nod to the cafe aspect of Paperboy Paris. And then on the side of the lid, we have New Balance's logo, Paperboy, and Beam's logo all on the top. As for the shoe itself, so diving into the details, the base layer of both pairs, this is constructed out of a white colored mesh. Right at the bottom, we have this reflective silver 3M layer. And then surrounding the front toe cap, on the left foot, we have this dark gray suede, whereas on the right foot, the suede here is done in a lighter shade of gray. Moving downwards on the right foot, we have this dark gray colored nubuck with this cutout in the middle with another layer of this reflective silver 3M. And then surrounding the eyelets of the right shoe, we have this dark gray suede. And then beneath this on the quarter panel, we have more of that white colored mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. And overlaid on top of this, we have a synthetic leather overlay with the New Balance N logo in gray done in this reflective silver 3M once again. Beneath this, we have this light gray nubuck. And then moving downwards, we have more of that synthetic leather, which sort of has the appearance of a brushed metal. Surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have this dark gray suede and we have PB for Paperboy 920 embroidered on the lateral side. And at the very top of the heel, we have that light gray colored nubuck with the New Balance N logo embroidered in white. When you compare this to the left foot, we have this light gray colored nubuck with that layer of reflective silver 3M underneath. Covering the eyelets, we have a light gray colored suede, and on the bottom of the mid panel, we have a dark gray colored nubuck. We have that same brushed metal looking material, which covers the mid panel. And then surrounding the heel, we have a light gray suede. And then the top of the heel is covered in a dark gray nubuck. On the bottom of the heel on both pairs, we have the silver TPU heel clip with New Balance branding in the center. And this is there to give you additional structure and support for the back end of the shoe. Turning our attention back to the front, so both shoes come with these metallic lace debris or lace locks. This is done in a metallic silver finish, and we have the Paperboy Paris logo on the right foot and the Beams logo on the left foot. In terms of laces, these come with three different lace options. The standard or default lace is a flat style lace in white, but they also give you two extra laces in two different tones of gray. Underneath this, the tongue is primarily constructed out of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box and the side panels. However, there is a suede overlay on top, which is done in dark gray on the left foot and light gray on the right foot. And we have New Balance and Paperboy branding on the right foot and New Balance and Beams branding on the left foot. As for the interiors, so these also come in mismatching fashion. So you'll see it's constructed out of two different tones of gray colored textile. And then as for the insoles, these both come with a foam line insole and they're also done in this mismatching finish. However, for both pairs, we have Beams, New Balance, and Paperboy branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of the 920 sits atop this midsole, which is taken directly from the New Balance 990 V3. So this is primarily an absorbed foam midsole, and it's predominantly painted in white. However, we have an end cap wedge found on the heel, and this is basically a softer EVA core surrounded by a stiffer polyurethane rim, which gives you that dual density balance of cushioning and support. And you'll see that the end cap wedges are done in different colors as well. 
It's a lighter true gray that you normally see on New Balances on the right foot and it's done in more of a darker bluish gray on the left foot. Turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is the exact same as the 990 V3 outsole. These are constructed in two different tones of gray rubber. We have that same diamond shaped traction pattern on the forefoot along with those grooves for added flexibility. And underneath this, in the middle, you'll see we have a carbon fiber shank plate, which is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that brings down the look and the construction of these Paperboy Beams and New Balance 920s. And for those wondering about sizing, so I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and for the 920, I usually stick true to size or size 10. I know even though it takes the tooling from the 990 V3, and for that shoe, I normally go a half size down, but for some reason, this pair feels much more true to size. Maybe it's because the upper is just a bit more snug, but whatever size your foot actually measures as on a Brannock device, I'd go with that same size. Just to give you guys a point of comparison, I also go with a size 10 in other New Balance silhouettes, like most of my 2002 R's, the 997 and the 990 V2 because I find that both of those models have a bit more of a narrow toe box, along with a lot of my made in UK models like most of my 991's, the 1500 and the 1530. And in comparison, I go a half size down or a 9.5 in, for example, the 992, the 990 V3, V4, V5, and a lot of my 550's too. Next up in terms of the comfort, so because this takes the tooling from the 990 V3, you guys probably know how I feel about that shoe by now, but the 920 similarly is very, very comfortable. The underfoot feeling gives you that good balance of softness while giving you some level of support. It's not going to be overly soft and mushy, and it's just one of those pairs that I can wear for many hours in a day without feeling any pain or fatigue in the arches of my feet. And to add to that, the upper of these 920s is very, very lightweight and breathable. Because it's primarily constructed out of a lightweight mesh, this will be a really good shoe to wear in hot weather, which kind of makes sense given the nickname of the shoe is technically Ice Boy. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was very solid. The suede especially felt very nice to the touch. The Nubucks were pretty much your standard Nubuck that you find on either made in US or made in UK New Balances. And in terms of the overall build and the craftsmanship, I really had no major flaws at all in my pair. I thought this was very well crafted, just like the 1500, and I really have no issues to tell you guys about. So with all that being said now, let's toss these on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. On one side of things, I appreciate how they made this a mismatching sneaker without going overboard and over the top. This is still very, very wearable. It doesn't look tacky at all. And the color scheme in itself is very minimalistic, very clean and very simple, which means you can pretty much wear this with anything you want. However, if there is any complaints about this pair is that I feel like it's missing a little bit of blue. Just like the 1500, it has hits of blue throughout. I think if they incorporated that same look on the 920, it would have taken this shoe to the next level. But without the blue, it kind of looks a little bit plain. And I might even say, I felt a little bit underwhelmed when I got these in hand. But obviously part of the draw of this shoe is the fact that it is a triple collaboration, and I'm pretty sure they released them in pretty limited numbers as well. But because the retail price in itself is already so high, maybe that kind of scared off some resellers away from this pair, because the Canadian after-tax price of this shoe is not too far from the resale prices. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Paperboy, Beams, and New Balance 920. What are your overall thoughts on this 920 specifically? And between this one and the 1500, which of the two do you guys think they did better? For me, the easy choice is obviously the 1500. I just think the execution on that pair was much better, but this one is no slouch either. Either way, drop a comment down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for the continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.